the University of Southern Mississippi, in uh, partnership with uh, Interpol, has developed five courses at this point, and we're working on our sixth course of a six-course continuum, in which those courses are together creating a certification program for those individuals that have completed all six courses. Bottom line to those courses is we're trying to design and develop a system that we can educate people that are incident commanders or that are responsible for event day operations at major stadiums. And as a result of that, educate them to what are the concerns, both in terms of security measures as well as threats that may be posed to somebody that might do harm at a facility or a venue site. Importantly, I think we learned from the attacks in Paris at the stadium that uh, continually there is an ongoing threat. As a result of that, we are trying to be responsive to that and the curriculum that we've designed uh, focuses on all kinds of different threats that may be um, both real and that are realistic in today's world. A good example is the drone threat. Everybody's trying to get their arms around what it is we need to do to satisfy that uh, and attack that threat. And everybody is trying to figure out what are best practices. So in this course, we have some of the, the most sophisticated incident commanders from around the world working on that. And we try to stimulate their thinking through our curriculum and the types of things that we present as challenges in the course. If you examine what Project Stadia is doing in, in detail, what we're really trying to accomplish is to both create a cutting edge uh, component to securing uh, venue sites at places like the uh, World Cup. And Qatar was one of the uh, uh, hosts, they will be the host in 2022. As a result of that, they're very interested in making sure that their area is both safe and secure for the fan experience, for those individuals that show up at Doha Airport and then throughout the, the time that they're in Qatar, they are safe and that they have a great experience. So this project in directly supports that because uh, all the Qataris that uh, are involved with the security of the games have been participating in these courses. and so. I am sure that they are benefiting, but also we're benefiting from what their planning process is by learning about what they are doing to prepare for these games.